In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a fog light cover inside the bumper cover of a RAV4 located in the front bumper. Remove the hubcap. You can use a pry bar or a screwdriver. And that gives you better access to the lug nuts. So we're going to take the wheel off, 21 millimeter socket. Remove the lug nuts. When you have a wheel that's stuck like that, I take one lug nut and I put it back on by hand, a couple of turns, and I'll take a long pry bar or a rubber mallet, tap it. Remove the wheel. There's three bolts right here holding this liner in, and that's a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. Let's back them out. And it also has this, attaches this like wind deflector or a front mud flap. So once you take the three down with that little mud flap or wind deflector, there's one more in the front here, 10 millimeter socket. Now you can move on to the fender well. So now that that front damper's down, you're gonna move to these two screws, the same 10 millimeter socket. And now you can just peel this back, the fender liner, to get to that fog light cover. So you can use a bungee cord or something to keep it back, but then you can see the fog cover right there and we can remove it easily. So now you can just take that screwdriver once you pop it and see if you can get that pin out. And there it is. And there's one other mounting screw and then there's a one screw left right up here. And that is a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to just remove it. And now we can grab that fog light cover and pull it right out. So you're going to take your fog light cover, and bring it in, and line it up. Now there's a little pin here on the bottom part, like at the six o'clock. Pop it in that little spot. Put your threaded screw right on the top. Start it by hand. And then I'm going to do my push pin before I tighten that up. Bring that over, pop it in, close it, take my 10 millimeter screw and just snug it up. Now we can put the fender liner back. Now we can put our fender liner back in. Just take that, I have a bungee cord, let's get it out of the way. I don't want to forget it down there. You can see the old line, the dirt line, how this goes under the fender right in there, or the bumper cover. And then it just transitions to the outside up here. And that screw goes in there. Hold that in sp spot. And then the top screw goes up here. Make sure it's lined up. 10 millimeter socket. Snug it up. Now we can go down below. So now on this little piece, I want to show you this tab right here, it's going to slide in. It's like a little top tab on that. And then these have to go actually over the inside like that. And you're going to hold it there. Then this piece is going to go flat side forward. The groove part goes towards the back. And there's a little pin right there. And you're going to line that right up with that one. And then out of the screws, the pile you have, the longest screw goes on this outer edge because it's so thick. That's this piece right here. And that is a 10 millimeter socket. And I'll snug it up. Now I'm gonna move over to the other ones before I really tighten that. Three more screw type. So I'm gonna put the next screw in, lining that plastic up. Feel it grab, lining that pin up. And now we have one left in the front here. Go 
ahead and reinstall the wheel. Put the lug nuts on by hand. Start them. Take a 21 millimeter socket. We're just going to snug them up. Crisscross. Now we can lower it and torque it to factory specs. 21 millimeter socket, and we're going to torque the wheels to 76 foot pounds in a cross pattern, crisscross. And double check. Now to reinstall the hubcap, you line up the valve stem. And then there it is. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.